led by their coach, the 1998 Roland Garros men's singles champion, Carlos Moya. Our next Maverick, a winner of three ATP World Tour doubles titles from the Philippines, Treat Huey. The winner of eight Grand Slam doubles titles, 85 doubles titles in all from Canada, it's Daniel Nestor. The winner of the Quebec City Tournament and in 2013, a semi-finalist at the Wimbledon Championships. From Belgium, Kirsten Flipkins. A former finalist at the Wimbledon Championships, a former finalist at the US Open, and once ranked number eight in the world, from Australia, Mark Philippoussis. This year, this player won the ATP World Tour Masters Event 1000 in Canada. He now has 11 career singles titles to his credit. From France, it's Joe Wilfried Songer. And now, here come the Wasafir.com UAE Royals, led by their coach, Jay Odeyega. Our next Royal was a finalist this year in Dallas in Texas and in Turkey from Tunisia, Malik Jaziri. Our next Royal has won three Grand Slam men's doubles titles and five Grand Slam mixed doubles titles. A former world number one from Serbia, Nenad Zivinic. Next up, a player who won the 2014 Mixed Doubles Championship at the Australian Open and has collected eight doubles titles during her career. From France, Kristina Mladenovic. In 2001, he was the men's singles champion of Wimbledon. 22 career singles titles go to Goran Ivanisevic of Croatia. He is the reigning US Open men's singles champion. Currently ranked number nine in the world from Croatia, Maran Cilic. Already this year, she's won the Istanbul Singles Championship. A total of 22 career singles titles on the WTA Tour. From Denmark, Caroline Wozniacki. He is the reigning men's singles champion at Wimbledon. He's won seven Grand Slam singles titles. Now, he has collected 48 singles titles during his outstanding career. He is, of course, the world number one. He's from Serbia. He is Novak Djokovic. Always nice to save the best to last and introduce the best player on the planet.
as your joker in the pack. Who's been the MVP for the UAE Royals for you so far, Robbie? It's a good question. But, uh, Christina's got to be right up there. It's, it's been a good team effort if you think about it. On the days when some players haven't performed, others have stepped up. It's been the case for Zimanech. Goran's played some pretty good singles as well as far as the legends are concerned. But probably Ladenovic just edges it for me, I think. Uh, her versatility in both singles and in mixed uh, has been impressive. Just that one day, wasn't there, where she was in a little bit of a bad mood, and it was actually against the Mavericks, the match that they lost in New Delhi. And uh, I spoke to JL afterwards, and he said the whole team was bitterly disappointed with her attitude on that occasion. They told her about it straight away, and uh, it's been a lot better ever since. And she excelled when they played against the Macamax Indian Aces in New Delhi winning the mixed doubles and playing well in the single suit. That was good. Time now then to meet the captains who are courtside with Craig Willis. Oh, joined by uh, Carlos Moya from the Manila Mavericks and uh, Jack Jasmine is back. She's going to toss the coin here. JL Diego has joined us with the Musafir.com UAE Royals, our chair umpire once again, doing an outstanding job from Australia, is Mr. John Blom. Thanks very much, Neville. Um, we're going to do the toss, and Yasmin's going to take care of that. So we've got Carlos Moya, we've got JL, Diego. I'm going to ask JL to call, and we have IPTL coin, as usual. What would you like to choose? Coca-Cola. As he does nearly every time for the toss. That's the way, Yasmin. And it's come up Coca-Cola, and I can see Caroline Wozniacki preparing. Is that who we're going to see in action first up, JL? Yeah, Caroline's going to start, and uh, we're going to receive. Going to receive. Okay, Carlos? Yeah. We will serve. You we will, will serve. We will serve. Oh, that's a very good... You've, you've got this game under... You've got it down pat. Well done. Captains, coaches are shaking hands. Thank you, John. Yasmin, thank you, as a guest of Coca-Cola. Ladies and gentlemen, play underway in three minutes from now. Players have an opportunity to get quickly warmed up. Three minutes until first ball is hit in anger. It'll be women's singles. Uh, Caroline Wozniacki up against Kirsten Flipkins. Mark Filipus has been outstanding for the Manila Mavericks uh, as far as the legend singles are concerned. Remember, he was a reserve initially, and he's uh, played lights out since being given an opportunity to shine. Uh, Djokovic has to be the favourite, especially considering, Robbie, the speed of the court here when he takes on Joe Wilfred Songa. It's so slow. It's going to be so tough for Songa to penetrate the court and hit winners against him and just outmaneuver him. So uh, we'll have to see what the, the scoreline is going into that third match. And, of course, no Tret Huey. He's been great for the Mavericks. Disappointing that he got injured midway through the competition. Yeah, but I tell you what, Danny Nesta stepped up beautifully to fill his shoes and he's uh, filled them very, very confidently. And playing some good mix with Flipkins. And I think Manila perhaps may be a little stronger in those last two matches, given how well Nesta and Flipkins played against Simonich and Mladenovic last time. I tell you, it's a fascinating one because I think Wozniacki is going to get them off to a good start, but then I think the Mavericks are going to pull back with Filipusa, so I uh, can't wait to see this yeah. one unfold. Should be good, there's no question about it. A quick reminder of the rules, the four teams are contesting 24 matches in a round-robin format, four points awarded to each winning team per tie. So that's what's on the line for these two this evening. Each match consists of five separate sets. Uh, the men's home captain can decide the order of those sets. And uh, after the conclusion of all of those, the team with the most game wins. It's as simple as that. So every game counts. Each set is the first of six games. The deciding point at juice. Receiver has choice of sides. There's a shootout at five all. Time sensitive. Five minutes. Start the clock. Player leading. When the clock runs out, wins. Whatever the score. Simple as that. 20 seconds allowed between points, play will be continuous and the captains will obviously play their part too. Got to make good decisions. Got a timeout, a power point and a substitution allowed in each and every set. So the captain's role has been vital so far. It certainly is because you've got to make some good substitutions and if a player's not playing well, you've got to have the discipline to pull him and look for a better option. And I think also the kind of messages that you send your players on those change events is important too, Jason. Let's have a little look at how these two teams have fared when they've met previously in this competition. In uh, Manila, they match two 
And it was the Royals beating the Mavericks. Uh, remember, Carlos Moya was playing then as opposed to being captain now, but then he got injured. He played relatively well in that first match against Goran. Uh, then since then, he hasn't been able to play, really. And remember, they had Andy Murray and Maria Sharapova as well, playing a bit of singles, a bit of mixed doubles as well. But they took a little bit of time to get used to the format and uh, perhaps didn't play as well as they will do 12 months down the line if they get invited back. And, of course, the two teams met in Singapore. Uh, and again, the Royals beat the Mavericks 26-21. Uh, I guess the big difference there was Nestor and Flipkins. It was an off day for Danny Nestor. He played poorly in that match. And once you win a set, it's on 6-1 or 6-love, Robbie. Very difficult to make up any ground it's lost. A, it's a game changer, Jason. And we saw that uh, as clear as daylight as far as uh, that result was concerned. But of course, uh, Nestor and Flipkins started playing much better thereafter. Uh, it was almost like it was a kick in the butt. OK, guys, we've got to get our act together. And uh, since then, Nestor's been uh, one of the best players on the Mavericks team. And of course, they met in New Delhi as well. Uh, so each of the teams playing each other at each of the four locations. This was match 16. And the Mavericks beat the Royals. I mean, it was a big win. Wozniacki got her first win against Flipkins in the end. And then Flipkins just won in overtime, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. And look at the Nesta Flipkins result in this particular matchup. It was uh, perhaps the game changer as far as this one was concerned. And that was the match where Mladenovic had a bit of a strop on, remember? She did. And uh, the teammates straightened her out there often. She played. Uh, a little bit better after that incident so it's, a, it's important that you straighten out a teammate because of course when they're in a bad mood it brings down the mood in the team and you can't allow that to happen you've got to remember that uh, unlike a regular tennis format there are other people to consider as well so your body language and your attitude is of vital importance so players are almost ready for action Team owner on a bench there as well, keeping a BDI on proceedings. Remember, it's a million dollars is the prize for the winning team, but it's a winning team only. There's no uh, silver medal, bronze medal, and wooden spoon. It's a winner takes all. Simple as that, and I like that format. That's what they've all been uh, playing so hard for over the course of the last couple of weeks or so. And when the likes of Andre Agassi and Pete Samples have flown in, uh, they've been surprised. We spoke to Boris Becker yesterday as well, and he said uh, he couldn't believe how intense the tennis was, the attitude of all the players. He arrived just in time to watch Federer play Djokovic. And uh, he said, you know, they were playing as if it was the final of a Masters Series 1000 or, or a Grand Slam tournament. And that's what I think has surprised everybody. I think prior to the event, people thought it might be a bit of a hit and giggle or an exhibition event. It's been anything but that. So we're all set for the first match between the UAE Royals First and the Mavericks. Mavericks. And it'll be women's singles. Caroline Wozniacki up against Kirsten Flipkins. Ready? Given the court so slow here, Robbie, does that mean Wozniacki has a, a big advantage against somebody like Flipkins? Yes, I think so, because uh, Kirsten likes to attack. Doesn't have the same sort of uh, power off the ground as Caroline, and attacking options are limited when you're playing on a court as slow as this. Just allow someone like Wozniacki a lot of time on the passing shots. You can see a bit of tape on Pippen's knee. Chat to her about that the other day. She said it's just a uh, swollen, got a bit of tendonitis on it. There's not much they can do.
sponsored by Bet365. Give me a reason to wake up in the morning. Don't have a clue. I'm waiting for the dog to die so I can shoot myself. <laughs> Sponsored by Bet365. Soffin was after that, so that was really good anticipation. Oh, there's the break. There they are. That took just 31 minutes, and uh, what about this? Sapin is a setup. How was that? Beautiful pass by Sampson. Oh, how's that? A point for Marat Safin to take a lead of two sets to that. How about that? Double fault, two sets to love it is. Now, best player in the world is two sets to love down to a Russian playing in his first Grand Slam final. how long Sampras is going to persist with this tactic. Well, this is almost arrogant. Look at that. What audacity. to hit, it's his instinct. That's it. Well, that is a storybook performance by Marat Sapin. It really is. And uh, typical of Sampras, a very sporting handshake and congratulations. It is an astonishing performance. Sponsored by Bet365.
Sponsored by Bet365. I think it's important to have a good woman, so either Mirza or Ivanovic. Tough call. What about DBS Singapore Slammers, Chase? A good verdict. Again, he's a, he's a world-class player. He's averaging 5.22, much better than everybody else on that team, right? He has been the standout player for Singapore. What about box Tim office goals? Well, you've always got to have an asterisk, haven't you, there, and involve him whenever you can. Nick Kyrgios, of course, that we're talking about there. He's brought an enormous amount of energy to the team. Still working it nicely around the course, but a few opportunities for Flipkins to gain the upper hand in the rally. Nine times out of ten, she's defending Wozniak, he's moving her around, forcing her to defend with a slice back, and which eventually drops short, and then good shot selection from Wozniak. That's how the match has panned out so far. It's difficult to see how Flipkins can do anything to change it up. Tremendous volley that was. <laughs> Top draw stuff from the Belgian. Love the way she goes to meet the ball. Look at that big step in with the right leg. point so now the members are challenging the call challenging sideline the, the ball's in Kirsten obviously thinks she's 100% uh, right there just wants confirmation it's not bang in the line that one yeah, you're, you're right. Wozniacki wins the game. The Royals are looking good. They lead four games to one. When you're aggressive, oh, keep being aggressive. Huh? Don't let it. You want water? Yeah. Stay aggressive the whole time with her. Don't get her. Give her time to be aggressive. Yeah. Then she puts you under, under pressure. All right. Okay. Come on, let's go. Don't worry about it. Next one, next one, next one. <laughs> Let's make this one. And they say when it goes to Coca Cola, it's very tough to see the ball at the back. What the right? What the no, right? At the bottom, at the bottom. When it changes to Coca Cola, I don't know if they can keep it better like this. Done.
Tennis read the game so well there. She's got great hands, hasn't she? Combination of shots here, guessing right. Fake to the right, go to the left. Carlos Moyer would settle for two games right here, wouldn't he, from Flipkins? It's a huge, it's a huge point. 15-30, you would have uh, felt a, a lot more confident about getting two games. All of a sudden now, it's looking uh, a tougher prospect, Chase. I think that's one of the reasons why Jail Diago went with Wozniacki initially because he felt this was a bit of a mismatch and they could get off to a good start. Such a bonus. Scoreboard pressure, don't you, on UAE the other opponents that come thereafter. I always like to equate it to, to match play in golf. That's a good lead. And if you're playing solid tennis, the other guy's got to chase, and that's when they start to make mistakes. Got to go for glory all the time. Love him. So plenty of that in the Ryder Cup. Didn't we? You know, Europe having a lead going into the last days. Some great tennis from the States, but uh, golf rather from the States. Couldn't quite do it when it really mattered because they were just going lights out all the time. Chasing the lead. Yeah, it's lovely tennis. Nice approach works well, but she just hasn't been able to use it enough to make any kind of difference in the overall outcome of the match. So beautifully placed it in a better play. Pipkins and the Mavericks. 
ready for action. Up next, Legend singles, Filipusis against uh, Ivanisevic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Challenging the goal. The challenge right. goal, I think it was wide. Right. Right. So I think Pipkins has indeed held. Reduce the arrears in just three games now. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so a good hold. You are not get much out of this set, but keep an eye on their overall score. It's uh, 5 2. Wozniacki serving for the set. Yes. Lovely little volley. Lovely volley. If the bench was saying challenge it or if it was out. All of them pointing their fingers up. Oh, uh, full commitment to that back here. Targets on those ground strokes today. Set points for Wozniacki, but uh, Flipkins playing a power point, so break point this too. Oh, oh, it's a shame, she's got a really good flying cross court. Good net coverage from Wozniacki, just squeezed her enough to draw the error. A solid set of tennis. Yep. The UAE rolls yeah. off to the best possible start. Right. Now you're going to it. Sponsored by Bet365. Sky Movies Adventure Time! Adventure time. Yeah. Step this way! Hello! Oh. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, we break Bonzo! Oh. 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 Nice trip! Go! Oh. 
Step into the adventure with Sky Movies this Christmas. Sky, believe in better. The thing about Sky News tonight is we have a very unstructured way of approaching the news. We reflect in our coverage the issues that really matter to people. There's much more flexibility, I think. It's not a formal, traditional, sitting down at a table, authorial, question and answer type scenario. We've got insight from our team of specialists. Instead of just giving you the story, we actually interrogate it. Unpick, unearth, so that you can hold the politicians to make the decisions to account. The technological capabilities of how report are changing all the time. Comprehensive, in-depth and a bit of fun. In reality there are some simple truths and we're trying to get to the heart of what those truths are. Give me a reason to wake up in the morning. Don't have a clue. I'm waiting for the dog to die so I can shoot myself. <laughs> Sponsored by Bet365. So next, Legends single score and Ivanisevic up against Mark Filipusis. So Wozniacki undoubtedly, Robbie, the big favourite in the women's singles. But I think uh, despite how well Goran's been playing, Filipusis, uh, obviously unbeaten so far, has to be the big favourite in this one. I don't know about big favourite, but slight favourite, I would say. And uh, Percentage terms? I would say 55, 45 uh, in favour of... That tight? Of yeah, I think so. Okay. I think we had a couple of uh, good battles down the, down the days. So, yeah, I think with the, the extra day rest as well, I think Goran will be feeling good. His body won't be as sore. That's a good point. Because uh, when we've chatted to him, after each set that he's played, he said he wakes up the next morning, stiff as a board. Did have that little slight sort of hamstring injury, tweaked it a little bit, didn't he, in Singapore. And that recovered well. He will want to beat Philippus, that what struck me more about the legends than anything else, I wasn't quite sure what to expect from started at the beginning of the competition is how competitive they've been. Yes, they certainly have, and uh, none of them wanted to come off second best. And Goran and Flip in particular being cured, and I forget about Fabrice and Toro, he's uh, a wonderful service for his team. So I think if you have a look down at it, I'm not sure all the legends have uh, given a good account of themselves. Oh, Those yeah. who have been the permanent fixtures in their respective teams. Balls in. So we're all set for the legends singles. The MVP as far as the Manila Mavericks in, are please. concerned. Mark Filipusis against Agoran Ivanisevic. Initially, in the women's singles, Carla Wozniacki victorious for the UAE Royals against the Mavericks' Kirsten Flipkins, six games to two, so that's the score now. So slightly easier for Goran here, coming with a little bit of a lead. First set, UAE Royals. Shots. Corner did so well with the first volley. Get it nice and deep onto Flip's backhand, but he's just giving it a straight drive.
Nothing's perfect, that one. It's one of the shots that that's impressed me most about uh, Philip Boussis. We all know he can serve big, but the top spin backhand has been outstanding. Especially on returning serve, too. Yeah, he reacted really well, didn't he? That's about the first time we've seen it, where the ball has just popped off, and the returners had an opportunity to get a clean winner off a net serve. Yeah, they've had a lot more dead lead cords, haven't we? Just uh, dribbled over. Possible to chase down. So. Goins bit off. Tatiana. I think his uh, daughter's here. Saw him a little earlier in the player lounge. Already tall. Him and Dad's jeans are shining through early doors. Here's uh, Amber Maria, or his uh, daughter. That's that for a response? A panic after the double. You can see he was controlling his breathing, staying in the present. Just picking his favourite serve on the next point. Just concentration, or concentrating on the execution. Good stuff. That's big. Takes the power point. Makes the all return. Use that white serve of yours to add water. Come on. So one all now. Love them. That's why he has problems with the form. When he just guns it out a little too much. And when he misses, he misses a lot in the net. Just force him. Just asking some questions of his bench. Where does that come from? Beautiful wrist work from Philippoussis. Oh, that's as clean a strike you will ever see. 
breaks right back to love. Who would have thought three breaks to serve in the opening three games? Good off. Would have got some pretty long odds on that, would you? Maverick so up to one. It's a seven-four now overall. Sponsored by Bet365. Scrimpity Festa Six Pack, ooh yeah. Why waste your dough at Christmas time? Our latest deal is truly sublime. Right now, we've got more colour exclusives than anyone, like the Nokia Lumia 530 in yellow from just $7.50 a month. Carphone Warehouse, we compare, you save. Sponsored by Bet365. Well, a shout out to Victoria. Good yeah. count of the middle of Mavericks. Thoroughly enjoying uh, the IPTL. Thanks for your tweet, Victoria. Just coach. Partners of crime, Boris Beck and Patrick Coonan. I knew Boris was in town. I've seen uh, Patrick before. Those guys, uh, are those guys uh, eyeing up a team. That is a large. Give me a thing or two about hitting a big serve out all wide. I remember it looking particularly well. Match point, actually, 85. Wimbledon final against Curran. I said the serve that did it for Boris. A boom, boom out wide on the ad court. Oh. And of course, our good friend, Miles McClacken, is always banging on about the fact that he had match points against Boris at Wimbledon, out on court two. And then he fails to mention he wasn't able to convert at the very last moment, but still a good effort, right? Certainly was. One of those matches that defines your career. You get the win there against Becker on the lawns of the All England Club. You can retire a happy man. Okay. Miles did retire off that match. Does he have reason? <laughs> it's a bit of a gap opening up now. Mavericks lead 3-1, it's 7-5 overall. He's not going to get a pass. Yeah. This time, he was looking for a flick cross court. It was for Mahesh Bupati in India. Of course, uh, the man who founded the RPTL. Okay. Uh, you are <laughs> nice quick game. It was a bonus. 
Wells, 3 up, 8 5. Sponsored by Bet365. Sponsored by Bet365. Come on. Just uh, turned really well in this series, especially when uh, the players he's playing have been serving and volleying against him. Likes the target. Oh, that is offside. That serve. That's a second serve. Remember. An 88 kilometer an hour second serve that was. Young boy. It's a bit too much sugar for dinner, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, Philip Bruce has got away with it there. Yeah. Yeah. Played the short four and volley inside out. Yeah. He's in yeah. real yeah. trouble. Yeah. So now has a